this tutorial I'm going to look at setting up a 5.1 surround sound master channel so that you can actually take individual tracks and put them in certain places on your 5.1 system. Now obviously you have to have a 5.1 system to be able to hear this properly and make it work and my system is actually only set up for stereo at the moment but I can still show you how to create it so we need a new sequence so I'm going to go to the new items icon, go to sequence again then I'm going to go straight to the tracks tab and for my master it's important that at this point as I am creating the sequence that I actually create a 5.1 master if I don't have a 5.1 master I can't go back and change it later on I have to actually create it when I create the sequence now of course if you've done all the work and you suddenly think heck that should have been a 5.1 you can just copy all the clips and put them in a new master sequence that you've created which has got a, a 5.1 master and then map them accordingly so it's not the end of the world if you've made a mistake but obviously this is the way to work with it now we've created a 5.1 generally speaking with six channels five and the low frequency one then you would have six channels I've just got three channels because this is just a demonstration again you can save the presets etc but I'm just going to click OK and there is my 5.1 audio mixer set up now we've got this interesting looking item here at the top of each channel I'm just going to bring in a couple of clips here. I'm just going to make them a bit bigger so I can see the actual so you can see the actual name. So that's a mono, put that in one. I've got a right here and I think I've got a left somewhere as well. Yeah, there's a left. So there's three mono channels. If I just open them up, you can see that they're all mono. Bear in mind the standard tracks, standard can cope with mono or stereo. And as I said before, it's worth just pointing out if I actually push play on these, you'll see that they all look like stereo tracks even though they are actually mono so do bear in mind that if it's a standard track it won't look like a mono track when, when you see the actual individual sliders and monitors over here but it is actually a mono track now this business at the top is about mapping where do you want those channels to go so for instance you might say I want this channel to be slap bang in the middle or I might want it middle front in which case I could if I want to stick it right into that pocket at the front now this particular channel will now play middle front and if I just solo that particular track or to turn off the other two tracks in fact and push play and have a little look at the bars over here so you see that mono track is playing on those two channels now if I take this channel and I take it so that's it this would be the right so if I can take it to right so take it and stick it right into the pocket over here if you put it right into the pocket it's going to be absolutely solely on that particular channel so let's turn off the speaker for that one and just turn on that one you can actually solo it just up here which is what I probably should have done but I'm just going to click play on that and as you can see that's just playing on a single channel and this time I'm just going to have all the speakers on down here and I'm actually going to solo the last one here so if I click solo here it's just that channel we're hearing don't need to bother about all the speakers down here and now I can stick this one into the left channel over here click play and you can see it's on that channel so this one over here if I solo that one is playing on the left and right front right in the middle so you can see both are going to play and then this one is going to play just on the left channel and this one is going to play just on the right channel okay so I can also move those if I like down to the back so you've got surround sound you can see that these are front left front middle front right rear right rear left and of course if you want you can have an item sitting right in the middle of your sound consciousness just here it's up to you entirely what I'm going to do however is just demonstrate a couple of the other buttons with this one here at the moment that's your low frequency emitter button so you can turn up or turn down the low frequency if you've got a low frequency channel to shake the ground and give you that real effect and vibration so that's low frequency which is pretty much unmapped because it can be slightly at the back or slightly at the forward but low frequency isn't so much about placement in the room as the overall effect but you can certainly map it if you want to but I want to show you this is the balance button at the moment if I push play let's go back to the beginning actually and push play you can see that mono track is done there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull this out a middle, little bit in the middle and I'm just going to let it just sit slightly off from the edge and push play and you can see it's actually affecting four channels now this time I'm going to play I'm going to change this center 
in fact I'm going to pull it a bit further over this side so you see it's affecting two channels and I'm going to play with the centre as it plays through just watch the, how the channels change So you can see that if it's off the side slightly and not actually locked to a side but comes out slightly you can change the centre or if you like the mapping of roughly how it's going to work on that particular channel just, just by playing with this little dial which is really more about fine tuning than it is about anything else. For me you just move it around to wherever you want it to be and that should do but if you do feel that you need a bit of fine tuning you can get in there and actually fine tune it with this little dial. So that's the basics of setting up a 5.1 surround sound system. You can have all your different channels showing in your master. You can control each one of them and set up a system that's going to work for you by mapping where each individual channel is going to play on your system.